the mistletoe margarita, the Scrooge driver, the North Pole punch. The holidays call for cocktails, so get everything you'll need for them delivered with Drizzly, the go-to app for drink delivery. So what's it gonna be? Classics like Bullet Bourbon, Don Julio Reposado, or Kettle One, or maybe something new. Find it all on Drizzly where you can get beer, wine, and spirits delivered for any holiday festivity. Download the Drizzly app or go to drizzly.com. That's D-R-I-Z-L-Y.com today. Must be 21 plus, not available in all locations. The box was a gift from someone. I can't say that I carried cocaine in it, no. You, you, you can't it, say that you carried cocaine in that box? No, but it looks like it would fit some cocaine. I, I, I... On this episode of The Commercial Break. K.C. White stands six foot nine inches tall and weighs about 260 pounds. Six she does? foot nine. No, Casey White, the guy. Oh, okay. I thought that was her. The sheriff's offer, officer has... Six nine. Six foot fucking nine. Yeah, that's basketball level. That's crazy how tall that guy... Yeah. How do you hide a six foot nine human being? <laughs> Which is awesome. I'm like, yeah, fucking cares that you're short. Whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. There's a couple of... I've seen a couple of these shows where I think the girls are really attractive. I'm like, oh, those are attractive uh, women, right? Exactly. Regardless of their size. But it's for men, their personality and their their mind. Yeah, that too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the first explanation I no always go to. No need to go to the doctor. Who drank the rest of the milk? <laughs> aliens! God damn aliens! <laughs> Where are my keys? Aliens! <laughs> Fucking aliens! <laughs> yes. The next episode of The Commercial Break starts now. Uh, yeah, Kins, welcome back to another episode of The Commercial Break. I'm Brian Yay. Green. This is Kristen Joy Hoadley. Best to you, Chris. Best to you, Brian. Best to you out there in the podcast universe. How the hell are you? Thanks for joining us on yet another episode of this, The Commercial Break. The only one you'll ever need, guaranteed. <laughs> We're just talking about this insane i mean I guess it's not so insane because it happens all the time but this story about this alabama yep uh Inmate. prison guard who helped this apparently allegedly it seems that way yeah i mean all evidence it's, points uh, yes, to exactly. this lady you know helped this guy I mean, get she out hasn't of jail. turned up dead somewhere so okay yet. so let me read a little bit about the story he, ki- he killed some people he's he's wanted on capital murder yeah okay so ready uh, on Thursday, the sheriff told local news station Vicki White stayed in contact with Casey White over the course of two years while he was in prison and serving time. Mm-hmm. He said the two also communicated over the phone. Authorities issued an arrest warrant Monday for the officer, saying she participated in the escape. She faces charges, including permitting or facilitating the escape of an inmate. She was also fired from her position. Well, uh, good job. <laughs> Great job, HR. Yeah. Of course. Um, she currently... Red flag. Yeah, she is currently wanted as... <laughs> You've the, been yeah. flagged. Uh, hi, Vicky. <laughs> do you mind stepping into HR for a second? <laughs> hey, we heard about that. You helping the inmate <laughs> escape and everything. And unfortunately, we're going to have to put a note in your HR file. That's a first offense. Two offenses. And you're going to be docked one hour of pay. Mm-hmm. Uh... Currently, she's an accomplice, Singleton told CNN. Yeah. It's obvious from the evidence that we have gathered he didn't kidnap her or force her to do anything as far as getting the car is concerned once they less left the facility. Vicki White is an assistant corrections officer at the Lauderdale County Sheriff's Officer, where she's worked for 16 years. An exemplary employee, admired and respected by her co-workers, some people close to her said. What were their standards? At this particular place. I mean, we're talking about the Lauderdale <laughs> Sheriff's Office. I'm not making fun of Lauderdale Sheriff's Office. I'm sure they're wonderful, but I mean. But Lauderdale, Alabama. Not Lauderdale, Alabama. Alabama yeah. Not Fort <laughs> Lauderdale, Florida. Yeah. Uh, Casey White. Who is Casey White? Casey White is a 38 year old serving a 75 year prison sentence for kidnapping a, an attempted murder after he was. Uh, convicted of trying to kill his ex-girlfriend and kidnapping her two roommates. He also faces capital murder charges, capital murder charges in the 2015 murder for hire slaying of Connie Ridgway after he confessed to killing her while in custody. Jesus, he was honey. set to go on trial next month. Uh, um, he's considered extremely you don't fucking say extremely dangerous. Love this one, yeah. you know. He's considered armed and dangerous. You don't say don't approach him in public. What am I going to do? Ask him out for coffee? 
I'm asking right. the guy what his fucking, you know, <laughs> yeah. hey, you want to exchange <laughs> Gmail cards? I mean, what the fuck am I going to do? I'm going to run, Find screaming me. and yell. Ah! Find me on yeah. Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Hit me up on Tinder. <laughs> At the commercial break on Instagram, brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is not the guy, like, we're not cheering this guy on. You're not going to... Apparently, anyway. he wooed her. Casey White stands six foot nine inches tall and weighs about 260 pounds. Six she does? foot nine. No, Casey White, the guy. Oh, okay. I thought that was her. The sheriff's offer, officer has... Six nine. Six foot fucking nine. Yeah, that's basketball level. That's crazy how tall that guy. Yeah. How do you hide a six foot nine human being? <laughs> Howard Stern is like six foot seven. Yeah. And he towers over anybody in yeah. the room. I mean, if you're at six foot nine. Yeah. I once one time sat next to the basketball coach of Brigham. I think it's Brigham Young University. Uh, was it Brigham Young or the, sorry, Utah State? I can't remember. But he was a well known basketball coach. Right. And the guy was six foot three. Mm-hmm. And I sat next to him in first class and his knees were oh, just. Oh, yeah. It's first class, and his knees were like up on near his face. You can't ignore someone that's more than six no, foot three. No, I was a, a basketball hostess my freshman year in college, and you're six foot eight. And, and I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm five two. And those basketball players, I mean, one of them was just super tall. I remember I have a picture with him because I mean, it was just like he was double. Yeah, it was. It's like a weird. <laughs> it yeah, was like almost a weird, <laughs> You know how it is. So uh, surveillance footage shows the inmate and a prison guard leaving the jail together. Authorities Mm -hmm. are searching for an Alabama correctional officer inmate who were unrelated but had a special relationship. Authorities released (laughs) surveillance videos showing Casey White being escorted escorted by Vicky White out of the Lauderdale uh, detention center. They both have the same last name. Yes, that's weird, but they're not related. Mm -hmm. Footage shows the pair driving to a parking lot. (laughs) In some weird way. Oh, they went to a shopping center where then the car was abandoned. Oh. Oh, what led to the disappearance? Vicki White had turned in paperwork. Yeah, she re- resigned the day before. She retired the day yeah. before? Yeah. Due to the escape, it was apparent in a uh, She's not getting that pension. She also recently <laughs> sold her home on sprawling oh four acres. Yeah, oh she's not getting the, yeah, I don't think they're getting a pension. She was trying, though. Uh-huh. That's what she was she doing. Was. She was trying. Yeah, yeah. she was like, Because, maybe. you know, those fucking jobs, those, like, county municipal jobs. There's probably some way she could, like, come back and is. then sue oh, and then whatever. Of course there yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> she sold her house well below market value only 12 days before <laughs> the disappearance. <laughs> She could be armed with an AR-15. An uh, AR-15? Jesus. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to protect my uh, Jack the Beanstalk my, here. A giant. Yeah. Six foot nine. How do you yeah, miss this guy? Come on. You're in fucking Lauderdale, Alabama, yeah. and you can't find the six foot nine guy? No. Here's the thing. Like we were saying, any time... That an inmate escape is publicized like this, they get caught. They do. And that is and because... And I see a Netflix. Yeah, I smell a Netflix. I smell a Netflix deal. Special. Do you remember the whole one about the two, the the three-way one that was going on? Yes. And, uh, yes. Not, not John Patricia Leguizama. Ar- Ar- Patricia, Patricia Arquette, Arquette played it. In and the, what's his name? Uh, Benicio Del Toro. Was he the one? Yeah, he was too? the one who played the, the older inmate. Was and he? he was so fucking good in that movie. The one movie. that just happened a few years ago. The movie. Yeah. That they put out. Or yeah, the series. The, about the up in New York. Yeah, yeah, up in New York. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And there was a three way inmate. There you know, was. There was like well, those a two fucking guys relationship ran. going on. Yeah, they ran. She stayed behind, but those she, two guys ran. She got ran. the better of it. Yeah. She got them out. She and then liter- they ran. They literally dug a hole through the sewer yeah. and then they popped up like 30 they yards. They pulled a Shawshank. From, yeah, Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> and they were it's both, movie, they were doing way. a train on this, on this, uh, yeah. th- the sheriff's officer. Oh, yeah. And she helped them. She would get them, you know, she was bringing them paint supplies and the paint supplies had like saws in it and stuff like I saws. Mean, it's either that or an alien. So. Yeah, well, they got to fuck something. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you got to fuck something. <laughs> like Brian always says, when I'm, my, uh, when I'm long gone and dead, people are going to quote me they're like oh you gotta fuck something as green said as b green BG. used to say yeah BG. you gotta fuck something <laughs> and facts aren't always the truth that's right six foot fucking nine and that brings me to the next story which is something oh. that chrissy sent me over here he was five foot seven before surgery mm-hmm. after surgery he's five foot ten Yes. This is a guy. This is happening increasingly, apparently, with men who are dissatisfied with <laughs> their height. Now, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Is there a minimum height requirement for you? Like, I know a lot of women say they can't be under five foot ten. They can't be under five foot seven. No. 
No, you don't care. No, I don't care. We've we we know a lot of short men. We've mm-hmm. worked with short short men. It seems to be the problem with men, right? Mm-hmm. Short women, there seems to be no yeah, issue with short no. men. But short men, there seems something seem, about something an ego about yeah thing. ego. They all seem to be a little bloat. Not all of them. No. I know some short people who are perfectly fine, but also there are some short people who seem to fit right into that Napoleon complex right. generalization. Yes. Because I don't know, they're angry at the world. And I can understand because I think yeah. short men, especially short men, are just they're just kinda looked over. Da 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 pun intended. <laughs> they're just yeah. kinda looked over. <laughs> yes. Right? If you're six foot nine, you're anyone... commanding. and there's been studies done. Most of the or majority of major presidents, and heads CEOs of companies and CEOs and are tall. Are tall. Mm-hmm. Because I think people just naturally Yeah, take, you got the confidence. They got to, the confidence. Yeah, it looks like they command the presence. Yeah. yeah, there's something about a physical stature mm-hmm. that really plays in, I think, True. mentally into how people uh, treat you, yeah. right? And so when you're short, I think you get ignored. Mm-hmm. And that's really unfortunate. So This is how cosmetic surgery has become has, yeah, that's right. the boom <laughs> that's right. in this country. Men, if you got women, small tits, no one pays attention. Yeah, get big tits. Yeah, right. get the big ones, yeah. get the booty lift, get the Brazilian butt lift. But I got to say, I got to say, I have dated women with small boobs and I've dated women with big boobs. Yeah. And I know that I can never put myself in, inside of a small, a small breasted woman's world. Mm-hmm. But I think they're just as hot and sexy Absolutely as big boobs are. they are. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I think I'm, I'm I don't care, actually. Yeah, well, that's the same if way with I me get to with see guys. A boob, yeah. Yeah, I don't care about you're their like, height. Yeah, you don't care about their height because you're like, if I if they got a dick, I'll, you know. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> no. That's crazy. No, I, I, when I'm I go dead for the and mine. Gone, I go for the mine. When I'm dead and gone, they'll say, remember Brian used to say, you got to fuck somebody. <laughs> Christy used to say, well, if I got a dick, I'll fuck it. <laughs> no. I'm kidding. <laughs> kidding, everybody. Settle down. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Jones. Uh, I, listen, I... I just happy to be around a breast. Yeah. I don't give a shit whether it's big or it's small. I think they're no. they're attractive in both ways, yeah. right? But I understand that height is one of those things that you just like you get a little complex. Yeah, most women are not showing me you their get a complex. You get a complex. It. Most women well, are not this, showing me this, their boobs. This started off as something that was meant for people who had actual deformity. Or a, a, a this, you know a, I don't know if you'd call it a deformity, but no, something to wear it's, it's just yeah, it's just you genetics. Have inches of a of, of wrong size leg. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So where it makes a, yeah, you yeah, limp. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's a problem. That's a deformity. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it, so it, this this is how it started. This brings me. And now people are just getting it done. Back around. Yeah, of course they are because that's. <laughs> how does it even happen? I didn't read the whole they article. They <laughs> break your leg and they and they Jeez. they break your leg and then and they put extra and they stretch your leg. Wow. Yeah, and they stretch your bone. Wow. That's what they do. And here is the thing. This is how this reminds me of all these shows that I love. Mm-hmm. All these small people, right? Little oh, people, yeah, I guess. Yeah, is, you do. I guess I love the little people shows, and mm-hmm. I don't love the little people shows because there is some comedy in it for me. Like, oh, look at that little yeah. guy running around. It's because well, they what they can accomplish. What they can not, they can accomplish anything. Mm-hmm. They're human beings. They can accomplish anything. And I love the attitude that most of these shows take with the little people, which is I do not want to be accommodated to. I want to make my life accommodating. So yeah. most of these, like the little people, little people, big world is coming back on. Okay. This is yeah, one of my favorites. That is one of your favorites. One of my favorites because I like the personalities in the show. I don't give a shit that they're little or they're big or whatever. Now I like the person, Matt yeah. Roloff and the Roloff farm. He's got a pumpkin farm. And he's a little tyrant running around. <laughs> really? Yeah. And then Amy's his ex-wife and she's, you know, can't decide what she wants to do with herself and the kids they want the farm they don't want the farm this guy is like a fucking like he's a multi multi-millionaire yeah and he's done it all he used to he used to go to like conferences and sell li- th- stools for them for hotels to put into perfect for little people yeah right that's a this great guy, idea this guy is not let the world does the world is his oyster he yeah. has not let one fucking thing stop him seven little johnson same fucking thing the world <laughs> is your oyster get it right but i can only and most of these, so now that the kids are getting old enough, and Seven Little Johnsons to to date, and most of them are dating average sized people. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Which is awesome. I'm like, yeah, I fucking cares that you're short, whatever. You mm-hmm. know, there's a couple of I've seen a couple of these shows where I think the girls are really attractive. I'm like, oh, those are attractive uh, women, right? Exactly. Regardless of their size, but it's about for men, their personality and their their mind. Yeah, that too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but these men. That if you do you remember the bagel boss? Do you remember bagel boss? The I whole the cake boss? No, not cake boss. Let's fuck that guy. <laughs> he cut off his hand. Remember he got his hand Did chopped he? off in like a horrible like Yikes. cake 
boxing act, a case, cake bossing accident. <laughs> cake bossing. Accident. He put his hand into like a grinder, like Ooh. a. Perf- I, I can't remember what it was. Like a yikes, like a meat grinder or something. Yeah, and he. I Why saw. Why was the, he doing meat for a cake? I don't know. He's a weird guy. <laughs> okay. He's all weird. I don't think that show even exists anymore because no. I think after he cut off, he lost the he lost the Midas touch. Now he's yeah. just like <laughs> oh, he's God. just like the rest of us now, making <laughs> shitty cakes that taste like cardboard <laughs> and say happy birthday <laughs> so bagel boss was this phenomenon that happened a number of years ago when a very short angry man walked into a bagel shop and the he got into an argument with the person behind the counter okay and then he had went on this like seven minute tirade screaming and yelling about how women wouldn't fuck him because he's small and fuck you and you're all fake and he it went from I didn't get cream cheese on my bagel oh, to the whole world is a fucking asshole yeah. because you won't date me. Most people saw him as just like a little asshole, right? Yeah. Which he was. He was a little asshole. And then he made a number of other videos. Then he thought he was famous. He made another a number of videos. He ended up sleeping in his car. This is his whole <laughs> oh, thing, God. right? He's up in New Jersey or something. Okay. But while everybody in Howard Stern took it and ran with it and he had him on the show and the guy was screaming and yelling, you know, everyone thought it was funny to poke the bee's nest and watch him blow right, up. And he right. did. He had no emotional control whatsoever. Mm-hmm. He was an emotional two-year-old. But <laughs> while everybody else was making fun of him, I had a thought that I actually felt bad for the guy. Because when you're fo- when he's like four he's foot eleven or five stick. foot, when he's getting the short end of the stick. Dick. And women were like swiping right on his Tinder profile so they could go on a date and film it and make fun of him and all this other stuff. It was really kind of fucking cock knocky, right? Yeah. And I was like, that's really fucking shitty because there's something about- People are the worst sometimes. I'm not talking about a little person like with achondroplasia or some kind of syndrome. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about a person who just happens to be be short. short. Yeah. Right? Especially guys. They really get the- They just- it's. I don't know any other way to put it. Short end of the stick. <laughs> it's a really shitty way to put it. But it's the short end of the stick. And I feel bad. I have heard out of so many women's mouths, I won't date anybody under five foot ten. Oh, yeah. I won't date anybody under five well, foot Well, I think it also depends on how tall the woman is. I'm used to, I mean, I'm short, yeah. five two. So everybody's pretty much taller than me. Yeah, yeah I know. I wouldn't date you. So, <laughs> wouldn't date you. You're just too short. But I'm saying, like, if you're a woman who's five ten, yeah, then maybe you don't want to date somebody that's shorter than you because we like to wear our heels and we like to do that kind of thing. So you know, maybe that's the thing. We all have our preferences. Yeah, we do. All, and I, I think that's fine. I prefer my the people I date have all their teeth. Yeah, and ten fingers and toes. Yes, but that doesn't. But that. It, but there's something a little think a little extra mean spirited about when when women well, kind of poke at guys about their height, and that's why they're on the dating apps because they can't find right. somebody. I'm saying like, this as you, a short guy, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> I have, it's, it's you know, when guy. you uh, when you're a woman and you automatically say, "I need this, 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 this," you're never gonna find it. So. Never gonna unless you you're the bachelorette. Unless you're the bachelorette, yeah. and then you're gonna get whatever you want. But they don't even work out. Well, no, they don't work out, but that's not the point. The point isn't to work out on the show. Yeah. The point is how famous can you get after the true, show? I mean, true. yeah, this, this whole thing has just become a, a large. It is. It's just a time suck for fame, right? It is. You're just wasting your time. You're making a little bit of an ass of yourself so that afterwards mm-hmm. you can be some special correspondent on yep. the E channel. <laughs> exactly. Motherfuckers. Yeah. Fuck, or I get a spin off. That's right. God damn. I hate those <laughs> fucking shows where these people, they just go. Because there's absolutely. And I get into it too. When Astrid starts watching it, I get into it. Yeah, of I get all upset with myself that I'm I'm now watching The Bachelorette. <laughs> Don't be and, hard on yourself. Well, no, I'm not because I make fun of it the whole time. <laughs> Astrid hates it. She drives her fucking crazy that I just sit around making fun of it. <laughs> well, just know that now there is a cosmetic surgery that can help you grow inches. Yeah. And all you have to do is break your fucking legs and stretch yeah. them. That's unbelievably painful. Yeah. I mean, I can't even imagine if I – here's a, here's a, a different way to look at it too. What if – you wouldn't date a guy because he's this short, but then he's not that short anymore and you date him and then you find out he got the surgery. Like, I think that would be a turn off in itself. Well, it'd be be like, like, you're that vain. I dated a woman for two years and I, I had no idea. You broke her own legs to get, make them longer. No, she got a boob job at like the oh. age of 17. Yeah. But I'm talking about breaking your own legs. Well, I'm t- you, like cutting open your chest through the muscle cavity. Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing, really is. And all it is is in the pursuit of looking more attractive yeah. to the other sex, or look, or feeling more better, better about yourself. Mm-hmm. Maybe True. it's not always about the opposite sex or the same sex or whatever. Maybe it's about just feeling better about yourself, mm-hmm. right? 
I the procedure is bones. drastic. Once you're going to the bone, though, people <laughs> break their noses all the time, and they break their noses. I, they get their uh, eyesight. They get yeah. the fucking anything. I mean, people go through crazy extreme lengths. I know to just look a little bit better, in their opinion, a little bit better, so that they feel better yeah. about themselves. And you can understand each to their own. that it's each their own. If for your entire life. Everyone was looking at you as just kind of like almost like a jester because of how short you were. Mm-hmm. All you'd want to do is just for one day be a couple inches taller so that you, people wouldn't look at you in the same way. Mm-hmm. And that's got to be the same thing with a person who's uncomfortable, a woman who's uncomfortable with her chest. Yeah. Right. I just want to have boobs for one day. <laughs> I dated a, I dated a woman who had a huge chest and she was like. The second that I can afford to get these boobs cut off, oh, yeah. I'm getting I these boobs friend, cut off. I had a friend that yeah. was like that too. They're and, painful. Yeah, you can't. And I, you know, you can't blame them. She's mm-hmm. like, I, I don't want to be. I don't want the first thing that everybody yeah. in the world sees is my fucking headlights. That's but just then what I know. Other people want that. So and other people to want that. that. Yeah, I got. Look, direct. I'm going the same direction. I'm I pretty soon. I'm going to get a boob, boob reduction. <laughs> <laughs> for all <laughs> to each their own god yes. bless america but yes. you know we have lots of friends that uh, believe in the guy abs- of course. Al- uh, absolute opposite it's like i'm oh, not ruling it out for myself one day <laughs> oh i'm getting plastic surgery yeah. oh it's coming yeah. you better believe TCB. yeah it's <laughs> fucking ain't right we're expensing this <laughs> i am i what i want to do is get a relationship with a plastic surgeon yes. so that we can just talk about it on air and then he gives us our okay. shit for free Perfect. i want botox i want a dick lift i want to <laughs> I want a I sack know. lift. Yeah. I want the whole. Uh, I want yards. the whole body lift. Oh my! You want the whole body lift? I want the, a lot of the body lift. You just lift <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> Wait, they're going to cut you open from stiff to stern. You're going to have slices all over I'm your kidding. gut and your I stomach. Don't. Yeah, you're going to get it. Come on, you're going <laughs> to tell me you're not getting a plastic surgery. That's bullshit. When yeah. it's so available and now so cheap. That, you yeah. know, basically anybody on on almost any income can at least get Botox or a little fit, you know, nip yeah. and tuck here and there. It's going to happen. The plastic I surgery. I is... tried Botox once and it just, I mean, I was like, yeah. Rachel made me an appointment one time to about the... <laughs> Rachel's birthday <laughs> gift to me one time when I was only like, thir- I was in my early 30s and I'm yep. over at her house and my birthday had just passed and we're drinking and getting fucked up and having fun. And she was like, I got you a birthday gift. And I'm like, what's that? And she's like, I'm getting you Botox right around here because yeah. it's, get- it's terrible. It's terrible. And I was like, what the fuck? And so I'm just being honest. <laughs> I was oh, like, yeah. Rachel. Well, she gets like preventative stuff done. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. But she looks good. She looks amazing. She looks great. Some people go to the right doctor. Uh, well, the right doctor is everything. Then we know some people who've gone to the wrong doctor. Um, yes. And we they do. look like alien fuckers. Yeah. That's what they, <laughs> they look like. like. They look like, or the alien that's getting fucked. I'm not really sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> one thing I wanted to mention while we're talking about good looks and all this other stuff, mm-hmm. I just wanted to mention it again is that I did. Find somebody to get on seeking arrangements. Oh, uh, and they yes. they they already started. They're okay. already signed up, and we're going to get some updates from them as they go along. Nice. I'm hoping that they where have are the, they located in the world? They are in New York. In New York, so I think this might happen pretty quickly. Okay, yeah, but uh, that's he, a good market. He already signed up. He's already ready yeah. to rock this. We did this just hours ago, literally. <laughs> and so as soon as the results come in, I'm going to have him come on and talk about his experience. Give it a couple weeks, and I'll have him come on and talk about yeah. his experience. I don't know if we'll have the same experience that Marlon did, but I'm hoping that we get a similar reaction. Yeah. Guys, handsome guy, smart Marlin. dude, Marlon. <laughs> By the way, he's, our, yeah, he's like, that's way too close to my name. That's way too close to my name. And I was like, no one's going to know it's you, dude. I don't even know that they know we're friends. Like, no, don't care. He's already texting me. But I said, you have to keep me up to date. Yes. So they're going to be on date number four later on this Ooh. weekend. Getting closer and closer tick, to that tick, Venice tick, trip. Tick, yeah. Tick, 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 tick. Venice! <laughs> but I'm like, dude, it's different going on a dinner date with somebody than it is on a trip. On a trip. Oh, yeah. And That's a make or break. She, and she's saying private plane in the whole nine yards. Wow. Private, to Europe. To, to, to Venice. Yeah, to Europe. That's Venice is in Europe. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a expensive. It's one thing to have a private plane fly you, you know, uh-huh. in these states, yep. but to go private over to uh, over Europe. To, yeah, to go over to Europe. That's a. Mm. Mm, I'm so excited to hear that's about. It's a this. make or break time because to when go you on a spend trip. seven days oh, yeah. in the same room as somebody, first of all, uh, just like 
we were talking about that one day. I have a feeling that already that I know this lady's personality yeah. is like, when I want it, I'm going to get it. Of right? course. And if he's not ready, then she's going to she's gonna get upset about that. Yeah. And so it's hard to run away from somebody <laughs> when you're stuck in a room in Venice. And I say and I say Venice, nonetheless, is because Venice is a very compact place. It is. You, there's no, it's not airy and roomy. No, it's, yeah. You're right on top of everybody. Yes. Everybody's right on top of you. The rooms are very small. Even when they're big, they're small. Right. Unless you're in the palace. Oh, yeah. And I'm not sure Marlon has the personality to, to know how to navigate this whole thing. Yeah. I think he, he it's possible. There's no cars in Venice either. There's no, like, Carl and Uber. Yeah, I mean, there's a car here or there. No. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I went. I went, too. I went, too. There's a car here or there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but... you and Motorcycles, there are, maybe. They have mopeds uh, mm-hmm. occasionally. But there is a car or two because they deliver stuff with the with those little, okay. you know, the little box trucks. Yeah. They deliver them there. <laughs> But I think I, the regardless is, truck. yeah, it's funny the box truck. <laughs> out of here. <laughs> regardless, you are right about one thing. You're not picking up a taxi in mm-hmm. Venice. You either yeah. walk in or you're going on a gondola. Yeah. That's it. Luckily, you can get from one end of the island to the other yeah, in like 20.6 right. seconds. Yeah. But I have a f- suspicion that Marlon is not going to handle pressure he needs well. To, he needs to kind of just let her take control. Lean back. Enjoy the ride. That's what I do. I'd be like, whatever you want. Yeah. I'd, I'd be like an alien. Yeah, I'd be like, well, uh, like if an alien visited me and wanted to yeah. suck me off, I'd be like, all you. Yeah. I wouldn't ask any questions or take no, no pictures. <laughs> and now for the commercial break inside of the commercial break. Thank you very much for listening to this episode of TCB. I want to remind you that if you get an opportunity or you're in the market for our sponsors, products or services, please do us a favor and use their specialized URLs and or codes. They always offer a discount or something for free, and it lets them know that we are doing our job so that we can continue to put out great mediocre content for you and for yours. Make sure you go to tcbpodcast.com. There's more information about Chrissy and I. All the audio and the video is there at one location, and you can connect with us. That's at The Commercial Break on Instagram and youtube.com slash The Commercial Break for content you cannot find anywhere else. We have special videos that we put out once a week called TCB in the studio. Five to ten minutes of Chrissy and I yapping on about this or that. You know how we do it. You're going to love more of us than you already get. Do us a favor. Hit us up at 661-237-8296. That's 661, the word best, the number two, yo. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you'd like to be on the commercial break because you have an interesting story or something to tell us, or you have any content ideas you'd like to pass along. And one more thing, if you ever feel like you want to help out the commercial break, your good friends Brian and Chrissy here at the commercial break, you can take two minutes to rate and review us on your favorite podcast platform. Doesn't matter if it's Apple, Google, Spotify, Podbean, CastBox, Overcast, or one of the many others that exist, they usually have a rating and a review system. And you adding your rating or review really does help grow the show. So now that I've said all the things I need to say, I'll say one more thing. We'll be back to the commercial break after this commercial break. How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18-month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSUFCU. That's MSUFCU. Funds insured up to $250,000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings. Whatever kind of night you're having, start it off right with Drizzly, the go-to app for drink delivery. Whether you're mixing up a bullet bourbon old-fashioned for a cozy night in, or a kettle one Bloody Mary bar for a birthday brunch, you can get the perfect beer, wine, and spirits for any occasion delivered with Drizzly. So what's it going to be? Download the Drizzly app or go to drizzly.com. That's D-R-I-Z-L-Y dot com to choose your drinks today. Must be 21 plus, not available in all locations. That brings me back around to a topic that uh, you may or not, you know, a a topic that we were discussing earlier, which is alien sex. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. 
I learned that Demi Lovato had has a brand new television show, and it's all about her encounters with UFOs. She actually video recorded a, a, a UFO sighting that she had. And to me, it looks pretty convincing, yeah, actually. I'm glad she got it on tape. Yeah, I'm glad she got it on tape, too, because or else she'd just be the Monster weird hunter. celebrity. Yeah, she'd be like <laughs> the guy from Blink-182. <laughs> Who's who, Anyway, so uh, that got me interested in watching the show, I watched a couple of episodes, uh-huh. and Demi Lovato is still a very attractive woman. Yeah, so I was she's like, great. I wonder if you know the if she gets some alien dick out of this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, she's bi, so she's could be either way. She's uh, non-binary, mm-hmm. is what she says, and she is bi. She's fluid. She is fluid. What they call it. Yeah. Uh, but I'm sure the aliens are fluid too. They've got to be. They've got to be. Like you think they care about yeah. which gender they're having sex no. with? The Romans didn't. It's <laughs> no, only exactly. it's only in the 1980s that <laughs> we get all upset about gay people. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I mean, that's it. Jeez. It's only since Reagan have <laughs> we been so obsessed with what other people do in the bedroom. Fuck off. Who cares? Let's give a shit. <laughs> Uh, the Romans were fucking anything with a they hole were. all over the place, and they didn't care. Oh, yeah. They were just having fun. They were all right to each their own. So I decided I'd take a, I'd go back to a fetish I'd heard about many, many times, which is alien sex. Like lots of, a, it seems like women especially are very interested in alien sex. Okay. And I thought I would find they a must video. Have had some bad times here on Earth. I, <laughs> don't most women? Isn't that just I one of those mean, things? You just that you turned them turned them alien. Aster and I were talking about this last night. Don't ask me why Aster and I were talking about this last night. We were talking about how a woman really has to just like the whole, there has to be a whole thing. It's like a whole head, heart, body. It all has to be in it, in the moment, working together in conjunction with each other to really feel intimate and turned on. Right? That doesn't mean it has to be a lengthy encounter. It means it just has to be working in unison. Exactly. Unless it's just you're fucking somebody so fucking hot that doesn't matter who it is, you know, it doesn't matter how yeah. good they are. They're just going to you know, jizz anyway. <laughs> but then men were like physiologically built to just like spread our seed. So it doesn't yeah. really matter. We're just like, ah! Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's way more visual That's for men right. and way more um, mental for women. If, facts, mm-hmm. right? Scientific facts. Yep. One out of 10 dentists agree. So... <laughs> This, is, this has been sponsored by Oral B. Sponsored by Oral B. Oral blowjobs. <laughs> oral blowjobs. <laughs> oral blowjobs. <laughs> keep, keep your mouth fresh while you're sucking that cock. Uh, so this, so I think that most women that you would talk to would say that they've had really unpleasurable sexual experiences before, because maybe part of it is is that it, you know in that particular moment. Everything just wasn't working together, yeah. and all of a sudden it became either comical, boring, or upsetting. Right? It was yes. just like, oh, this is not. I'm not. I'm not here. Not I'm not into here it. Yeah. Meanwhile, talk to him. Ask a guy how many unpleasant sexual experiences they What's have had. That? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's fucking me? <laughs> how quick can they get here? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the truth is, is that I can think of a few, but it's because they were comical upsetting or boring yes, right they yes. were actually those things not it wasn't in my head it was mm-hmm. you know we had the gobbler <laughs> uh we had the person who did not move whatsoever for any Ooh. yeah it was yeah. really weird it yeah. was like having sex with a dead Corpse. body and i learned after i had dated her that that was actually that actually turned her on oh like <laughs> kind of playing dead letting it happen like okay. you said letting it happen okay whatever whatever you're did doing. i say that uh yes, you just did. Okay. <laughs> like three minutes ago. <laughs> ah, da, 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 da. Welcome to the com- what? What's the name again? What? A commercial break. Who made that name up? <laughs> I'm on a podcast. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, so I went around and I searched around for videos with people that talking about their encounters, sexual encounters with aliens. With aliens, like to hear one? Yes, of course. This is a couple that, uh, well, I'll let them explain themselves. This is uh, another British documentary here. That's the wrong one. There you go. Right there. British documentary. Go to TC. Go to, uh, don't go to TC. (laughs) Go to (laughs) YouTube.com slash the commercial break. Or you could go to TCBpodcast.com. Or you can go to Spotify live. You can go to Spotify live, the commercial break Mm -hmm. live on Spotify. And you can watch the entire episode a day or two after it releases. We also do the same thing on YouTube. And we put out clips every single day of the week for your viewing enjoyment. Please subscribe if you would, because, uh, you know, we don't have any subscribers. So we need a few. <laughs> All right, here we go. 
This is Alice Haggerty. She's a divorced mother of three who now lives with her boyfriend, Pat Marcatilio, in the otherwise... Not to make fun of Alice <laughs> here, but Alice looks like an alien. <laughs> And he looks like he's from 1970s Vegas. You remember that video <laughs> game, uh, Leisure Suit Larry? Yeah. Do you remember the video game where he put our hot tub Larry or whatever it was? Yeah. That X-rated video game that came out right when computers were around. And they had like the little, <laughs> it's this guy. He's got his shirt he's on. He's got button. a gold yeah. chain. He's ready Dyed to black hair. This guy's sexy. Unremarkable. If I was having sex with that, I'd probably pretend I was having sex with aliens too. Yes suburb of Trenton, New Jersey. There's one, huh? Oh, yeah. There's one. Look at <laughs> that. That's a flying alien cock right there. That's how we just saw it. <laughs> Look at that alien penis. <laughs> They're just sitting out in lawn chairs. Yeah. There's uh, one right there. Yep. In the broad daylight. Dr. Dr. U.S. Files. And that she has seen them throughout her life, even if for a long time no one would believe her. Uh, I'm assuming no one still does believe her. <laughs> These people live in, what is that show? Yikes. Extreme Hoarders? Yeah. Yeah, this is extreme hoarding. Anytime It's you, organized hoard. Yeah. Any, it's an organized hoard. <laughs> Swarm! <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you put a stained pillow on top of your couch cushions to sit on, Mismatch. it's probably an indication of yeah. how clean your house is. Right. So I'm just sharing that. right. I told my mother at one time that I was seeing these beings. This is when I was seven years old, eight years old. And I was told I was seeing <laughs> demons, that I was um, fooling around with stuff that I shouldn't be. It was... Fr- like my vagina. Fooling <laughs> around. <laughs> well, this lady's out there, dude. Lord. It's hard because I'm not a liar. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not making up stories. These things are really happening. Okay, so this is a husband and a wife that are sitting together. The wife is in a muumuu, a literal Walmart muumuu. She's got horn rim glasses on. Huge glasses. Huge glasses that make her eyes look like alien eyes. Uh, a possible perm a, with some bangs. Yeah, the, and, and the roots then, from 1997. Yeah. <laughs> and then we've got Leisure Suit Larry, <laughs> who's got his hair slicked back. He's got a Black Hawaiian hair. shirt on. Uh-huh. With it, gold chains. Yeah. With it gold com- gold rings. Gold rings, gold chains. He's got his shirt open. He seems like he might be <laughs> He seems relaxed. Yeah, he seems relaxed. And when she said, I'm not like, a liar. That's my girl. And he said, I'm not a liar. He put his hand <laughs> to his face. 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 Like, oh, here she goes again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But everything changed when Alice met Pat. <laughs> the two of you are beginning a strange journey. <laughs> they met at a UFO conference. There's an alternative Let's just say tender. Pat is no skeptic when it comes. <laughs> There's a page turner. <laughs> to aliens. In fact, he's downright obsessive. He's collected pretty much every UFO publication ever published. Real sex and twenty some rather intimate dodgy videos. sessions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I just saw a tape that said real sex 20. Call for Bob on and That Garden was on State, HBO. HBO is calling. <laughs> <laughs> Press 1 to accept the charges from Sork. <laughs> hey, it's me, Bob. What's going on? We'd like to come down and do some fucking. Can you get the HBO documentary crew there? Yeah, no problem. I got you covered. Uh, when are you coming? On the 19th circular of the moon. <laughs> We'd like some hot Zork cock. <laughs> Zork? I don't know where I made that up, but I love it. <laughs> Zork. Yeah, this guy's a full on fetish freak. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Alien, Alien erotica, erotica secret files. files. <laughs> Could you please find a way to make sure that these tapes do not get out? Oh, I got you covered. I've got a VHS tape. I'll write secret files on it. No one will ever see it. Thank you. Is that the best security Earth has to offer? It's the top of the line technology. I'm going to break the little tab so it can't be recorded over. You are great, Bob. Thank you. You will get much alien pegging when you get there. Ah, I love the pegging. Uh, oh, my God. It's two. Naturally, their relationship blossomed. <laughs> and then an unplanned... Blossom. Blossom. <laughs> like a flower. Naturally. Yeah. On the moon. <gasps> These two. And of events gave he them had both me a, a real difficult sex decision yeah. to make. You had me an alien dick, honey. 
<laughs> you had me an alien jizz. Yep. The first time you said Zorn come, I was like, oh, yes, yeah, she's my girl. She's the That's one. my girl. She's the one. Oh. oh. <laughs> Alice came to me um, and said that she was pregnant. And uh, I said, oh, my goodness. You know, and we were surprised. We were both surprised. She was. Don't worry. The baby can come live with us on the Zorn. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the first time she said she was pregnant, I was like, oh, oh yeah. well, there's another one. Okay. I gotta, gotta throw away her phone number, too. <laughs> Up Christmas, uh, was that Christmas Eve? Christmas Eve, yeah. And uh, there was a big four-inch four uh, spot of blood on her bed, and uh, she felt that she wasn't pregnant any longer. It's called a miscarriage, I, I think, I was Bob. Say. Yeah, Bob. Jeez. It could have been a miscarriage. <laughs> But for Alice and Pat, is the guy that's narrating this the same it. guy from ICTV? Uh, ITTV? ITV, whatever, ICTV. <laughs> ISIS TV. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I'm sure that they share a lot yeah. of the same narrators. Yeah. Okay. Explanation Aliens. Aliens. They had taken the baby, they, take, they took our baby. Most um, miscarriages happen around two months. I was beyond that, so I knew that, you know, something more was happening to me. Aliens. And, um, Aliens. That's the first explanation I no always go to. No need to go to the doctor. Who drank the rest of the milk? <laughs> aliens. Goddamn aliens. <laughs> Where are my keys? Aliens. <laughs> Fucking aliens. <laughs> Yes, we're just going to start blaming everything on aliens. Who's shitting <laughs> Mia's diaper? <laughs> aliens! <laughs> God damn aliens. <laughs> <laughs> they are so mischievous. Why isn't anybody listening to the commercial break? <laughs> aliens! <laughs> Fucking aliens. God damn it. I'll get those aliens. I can, they'll let me know when they're coming. I'm going to get them. <laughs> Oh my god, this is <laughs> it's a natural conclusion. Aliens. <laughs> uh she had a miss you know, they took the baby. That's yes, what they did. They took the baby. Hey Bob, it's us, the Zorks. <laughs> Don't worry, the kid is safe with us. <laughs> We're using him. <laughs> he's, he's on a hamster wheel. <laughs> he's currently propelling our ships through space. His name is David. <laughs> Found out that I was actually giving the aliens my babies. Why are they no, showing that what? like little... This is just like a weird... <laughs> they're trying to be trendy documentary. It's like it's a piece of shit. They show, yeah, they wind, show chimes. wind chimes. Yeah. Oh, aliens and wind chimes go hand in hand. <laughs> Why that chime just chime? That's a, aliens. Why, why are my French fries cold? Wind chimes or aliens? One of the two. Not sure. <laughs> Fucking wind chimes and aliens. <laughs> Nothing goes together like wind chimes and aliens. <laughs> Ice cream and apple pie. <laughs> Chevrolets and cold beers. Wind chimes and aliens. <laughs> yep. Thank Would thanks. aliens come and take Alice's baby? She's convinced it's because the baby was not actually Pat's, but the product of one of her alien encounters. Oh. And the good news is ah. that the baby didn't die. The good news. Ah, good that's news. the good news. That's the good news. The baby didn't die. This the bad news comes is, out as a happy ending. We're not entirely. <laughs> he's being tortured by aliens. <laughs> the good news is he didn't die. The bad news is uh, we're not entirely sure where he is. <laughs> Good news is he didn't die. Uh-huh. The bad news is I was cheating on Bob yeah. with an alien. <laughs> that must have been great news to Bob. Bob's like, yep. if it's not mine, whose is it? A- aliens. aliens. <laughs> Fucking aliens. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can, yeah, aliens is a good <laughs> cop out. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it really is. I mean, it's underused. <laughs> Yes, officer, was there a problem? You know how fast you were going? Aliens! <laughs> or wind chimes! One of the two. It was the aliens. Uh, oh. Child is being brought up on an alien spaceship as we speak. 
And how does she know? Well, Alice says that on one of her trips into space, she Elon was... Musk <laughs> sent her up to visit. <laughs> Elon Musk got wind and tweeted back at her. <laughs> Free trip to see your Zonk child. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that Elon Musk. He's saving uh, the world, he, isn't he? He really yeah. is. Introduced to hundreds of such alien human hybrid babies. babies oh, well. were extra small. Maybe he maybe. knows all the other, maybe she knows all the other babies that the Wacken Tree guy was Yeah, having. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they're playing on the playground <laughs> uh, <laughs> together. Yeah, we don't know. You may not have heard this episode. It may not have been out yet, whatever. Anyway, we di- we reviewed a guy who claims to have had sex with alien named Crescent for over sixty six years, mm-hmm. but he failed to ask her why she, <laughs> why he picked her. Or where, but he had like one hundred and fifty alien babies that he saw in a glass yeah. case one mm-hmm. time. Yeah, six to eight inches. The hair was very very fine. Very little of it. Uh, you could see the skeletal system through the skin. Oh, the translucent skin. Not- oh, translucent skin. Mm-hmm. But you know why? Uh, that would be no good for me. Yeah. I need a Zorn tanning bed. <laughs> you do need the <laughs> I need tanning, a Zorn bed. tanning bed. But if you're, you have to think about it. If you're living in space and yeah. you're constantly traveling through, through space and there's no sun, yeah. I guess your skin would just turn translucent, right? Mm-hmm. But here's another question. <laughs> What kind of drugs are these people taking? <laughs> I don't know, but I want some. Didn't Jersey just legalize yeah. mushrooms and acid? <laughs> they did, some. I think, right? Normal, but you could see knowledge in the eyes. Um, unnatural, n- knowing that they had the knowledge of the universe, that they were much more intelligent than I could ever be. Bob's like, let's yeah. go back to watching <laughs> Real Sex 20. Yeah. Hey, honey, <laughs> you want... <laughs> I just did it for the erotica. You want to put whatever on, she says. You want to put on alien <laughs> anal and get it on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, honey, I have a headache. Uh, <laughs> According to Alice, her responsibilities don't end with breeding. The aliens have occasionally abducted her for a brief spell of alien wet nursing. Wet nursing? <laughs> <laughs> they're, uh, they're bringing her up to breastfeed? Yeah. You mean the are. aliens didn't have that part covered? No. Yeah. They didn't think that through. <laughs> Hi, Bob. This is Zork from Ork. I just had sex with your wife many, 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 many times. Unfortunately, I didn't buy any. Formula? <laughs> I didn't buy any Gerber baby food. Do you mind if I borrow your wife's tits? <laughs> God damn it, alien! <laughs> You're fucking with my life. It wasn't my fault. It was the wind chimes. <laughs> when I was on board, I had to put my hand on this cylinder coming up out of the floor or whatever, and I could feel all my energy draining. Into the cylinder. Uh, there's that, a picture of this. This is like a glory hole this, to me. <laughs> <laughs> this picture is hilarious. I mean, they're, they're no, they're no Picasso. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, look what at did this you stick figure. <laughs> it's a stick figure. My hands on cone. There's a hole in the floor, <laughs> and there's a dick coming out of the floor. <laughs> Yeah. They had me put my hands on it, drained all my energy. <laughs> that's because that's an alien glory hole. Oh, my, oh my God. God. I have seen this yeah. before. Wow. <laughs> and I was told that, you know, it's mother's love for the babies. And uh, somehow they put the energy into the babies. and Storage tank of mother's love. Storage tank of mother's love. Welcome back to the ship, Karen. Please go put your hands on the mother's love stick. Now rub furiously and vigorously. Yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. More mother's love. Don't mind what's coming out of the mother's love stick. That is mother's love. We are collecting it. This is hilarious. It, it says on here, storage tank of mother's love energy or life energy. I think in human terms, that's called a used T-shirt. Possibly a towel. 
<laughs> we are collecting mother's love. Keep rubbing, Karen. Keep rubbing. <laughs> <laughs> this show is so stupid. We are so stupid. <laughs> I know. Uh, this is crazy. Karen's whacking off yeah, aliens. Yeah, it's, <laughs> like it says base. Yeah, it says base. It looks like a ball, a testicle. I kept rubbing the base, and they kept telling me the mother's love's coming through just fine, Karen. <laughs> Keep on rubbing. <laughs> Uh, in, in a minute, you're going to see a new mother's love stick come out of the ground. Don't worry. <laughs> it might have a different color. Maybe it's it's going to bend to the other way. <laughs> oh, my, oh God. my God, Karen. <laughs> You've well, been tricked by gotta, the aliens. we got to keep going to for keep, a minute. Yeah, yeah. What, know, what else is on this drawing? We cannot live without the, a human touch. <laughs> 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 it was like I was the universal... Whacker offer. <laughs> the picture was, I was a day. Yeah, I was the and, alien masturbator. Uh, <laughs> That's what I did. I got an important position. Bater of the universe. Love machine, you know, for the babies. A milk machine for the babies. <laughs> And Alice isn't the only one to claim to have given birth to hybrids. Oh, okay, we're going to an... Oh, oh. oh God. Oh, Years oh, wow. after her encounters with the reptilian alien, Pamela says she woke up one night, stark naked, and surrounded by alien beings who led her into a room inside a spaceship where some <laughs> tiny figures were waiting. <laughs> Why are they showing children? Why are they showing children? That's a little weird. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little <laughs> flashback from it all now. Oh my god, this is uh <sighs> Yeah. There's a blonde <laughs> bombshell on the screen right now. I mean she's a little bit older, but you can tell that she's a good looking, yeah. attractive woman. Yep. And she's all sexed out. She's got a see through shirt on with a lace. She was sitting bra. by the pool in a yeah. lacy dress. In a lacy lacy dress and she, they've she's been taken to a room with children apparently <laughs> for sex. I don't know. <laughs> There were four little girls who rushed over and grabbed my arms and started calling me mommy. Get off me! I don't know you. <laughs> Get it? You yeah, little brats! Welcome, Danielle. And I woke up in the grocery store. <laughs> the I children remember. are going to take you to the mother's love stick. <laughs> uh, we need a new mother love milker. <laughs> We want to try you out for a couple of weeks. I was too freaked out to embrace them. And I kept saying, let me go. And they said, mommy, don't go. And I said, let me out of here. Get away from me. And all of a sudden, it felt like I fell back through the door. I woke up in Kmart. <laughs> I woke realized up. I had been on a drug bender. And that's when I woke up at the Rusty Nail Bar. <laughs> <laughs> and Kenneth was trying to stuff a key full of coke up my nose, saying, you got to wake up, girl. Your kids are here. You nodded out. Your kids are outside in the car, all four of them. They were just in here screaming, mommy, mommy. <laughs> I don't know what pills you're on, Karen, but you got to get it somewhere else. My bed startled. Oh, my God. And I was so panic-stricken. I can't remember when I have been more afraid. <laughs> I noticed my arms were kind of sore, and I looked down, and I saw little dime-like bruise marks on my arms where my daughters had been grabbing me. It hit me that I must have been through something truly physical. <laughs> yes, it's... <laughs> It's called a crystal meth binge. <laughs> it's called ayahuasca, and you shouldn't yeah, do it around your children. Oh, no, no, my God. Okay, just another couple of minutes here. So, yeah, it was pretty scary, especially for someone who never wanted children. <laughs> you didn't say you didn't have them. <laughs> yeah, you said, he, <laughs> he said he never wanted them. said they weren't them. yours. Yeah. <laughs> never wanted them. You never wanted them. All those pregnancies just went straight yeah, up to Zorn. Yeah. yeah, with the other ladies. It's not just human women who are breeding with aliens. Oh, no, we're going to oh, somebody else. Okay. Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll save this for the next episode. I promise we'll get back to it. Uh, oh, and you know what? That was not the right... What happened there? Aliens. Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Aliens! 
<laughs> like that with our. <laughs> That's some of the laugh. That's some of the hardest I've laughed. I've laughed. I know. <laughs> on this show. <laughs> <It is. laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> who took my who took my on board baby? Idiots. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Okay, well, you know. Uh, uh, I'm gonna start using that one more. One more. No, we're gonna no, I'm gonna start using that excuse. Oh, aliens. More. Yeah, me too. Aliens. Yeah, when Astrid asks me what's going on, I'm gonna say, you know, <laughs> what are you doing? Aliens <laughs> Where are the children? I can't find them. <laughs> aliens <laughs> going to yeah. be my secret code word in bed for Astrid to stop. <laughs> oh, my uh, gosh. That oh, that good. was a good one. That We're laughing so one. hard that I messed up the entire back half of the show. But that don't worry the aliens. about it. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Or the wind chime. Yeah, no one's going to care. They didn't make it this far anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they tuned out way back when I started talking to <laughs> Mother's love. No, way before then. When I started talking about the seven little Johnstons, they were uh, like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. turn it off. I'll, I'll check again yeah, next week. I'll try the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, guys, thanks for joining yes. us. And uh, TCBpodcast.com, that's where you go. You can find out more about And for about those Christina. of you that made it this far, please write a review that says aliens. Aliens! <laughs> I'm sure we're going to get a couple. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> we got smart-ass listeners, so uh-huh. I'm sure that they'll write it. Uh, tcbpodcast.com is where you go. You find out more about Chrissy and I. Read all the show notes. You can also check out our sponsors' discounted codes and URLs there at the show notes page. Or you can hit us up on Instagram at the commercial break or youtube.com slash the commercial break for uh, content you can't find anywhere else. All of our full episodes, all of our clips, all of our YouTube exclusive videos are all on our YouTube channel. And now we are on Spotify video. Go to Spotify, search for The Commercial Break Live, and you will see the most recent episodes are up there. They're full-length video episodes, so you can listen or watch or a combination of both, whatever you want to do. Chrissy and I look so good. Why wouldn't you want to? That's all I got to say. Uh, and 661-237-829-6661. Best, the number two. Y-O-Yo. Okay. Yo, 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 yo. We love you. Thank you so much. Leave us a podcast review if you get an opportunity. I love you, Chris. I love you, Brian. What more can we do? I think that's it. Okay. Best to you. Best to you. And until next time, we always say, we do say, and we must say, bye. bye. How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18-month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSU FCU. That's MSU FCU. Funds insured up to $250,000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings. Whatever kind of night you're having, start it off right with Drizzly, the go-to app for drink delivery. Whether you're mixing up a bullet bourbon old-fashioned for a cozy night in, or a kettle one Bloody Mary bar for a birthday brunch, you can get the perfect beer, wine, and spirits for any occasion delivered with Drizzly. So what's it going to be? Download the Drizzly app or go to drizzly.com. That's D-R-I-Z-L-Y dot com to choose your drinks today. Must be 21 plus, not available in all locations.
How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18-month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSUFCU. That's MSUFCU. Funds insured up to $250,000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings. An avid cyclist dreams of turning his passion into a business. He consults his banker to help find the best path. Now bike wheels are being built, and all it took was a little push to get rolling. First Horizon Bank. Let's find a way. Go to firsthorizon.com slash Clint.